subject. Our next guest runs a company that makes natural gas-powered school buses. Dennis Gallagher is the CEO of Student Transportation. He joins us right now in New York City. Dennis, welcome to the program. Thank you. Right, you own, or you run, the largest fleet of natural gas-powered buses in America. 400 of them, correct? This is, uh, they're propane, so it's LPG, but we yep. also run CNG vehicles as well, too, sure. Okay, and you've got these installed, uh, for example, in the Omaha School District, correct? This coming, this coming school year, we've got a new contract with the City of Omaha and the Millard School District there to put in 500 brand new vehicles, 435 will be new LPG, liquid propane, liquid petroleum gas vehicles. Okay. And these are going to reduce, literally, the carbon footprint for the well, city of Omaha yeah, by okay. two what and a half million pounds. Okay. Who's subsidizing this? There's nobody subsidizing it. Us as private enterprise is actually making the investment. So we're putting a $40 million investment in new equipment. We get a contract for seven years to actually run the vehicles and we provide the drivers, the maintenance, the bus, the, the equipment, everything necessary to take kids to school. Did did the government somewhere along the line subsidize the production of the engines or any other part of the whole production process? Is there absolutely no subsidy whatsoever soup to nuts in this operation? Yeah, These vehicles are actually made in Fort Valley, Georgia. They're made in, uh, by Bluebird Corporation, which is a Cerberus Corporation. The engine part is actually made by Roush Clean Technology. So, uh, Did they get a subsidy? You know, I, I, I'm not sure that Roush actually gets the subsidy, but this is a program now where you're literally taking, you know, uh, uh, former gas and diesel engines off. It's going to produce 60% less carbon monoxide yeah. around our schools and around our communities. I just want to know huge. if my yeah. taxpayer dollar is involved. No, in, in fact, I, don't I think. I necessarily mind. I'm not being pejorative here. I'm simply saying I want to know who's paying for this. Sure. Because you can't tell me that a fleet of 400 natural gas powered school buses are going to be cheaper. Uh, it, when all costs are factored in, than a gasoline-powered school bus or oh, a diesel-powered school bus. Absolutely cheaper. It's the cheaper operating cost. We're currently That's the running operating cost, Dennis. Oh, I'm you, talking oh, about the production, manufacturing, and purchasing costs. Oh, well, the capital cost for us has come down, literally, for the CNG and the LPG vehicles. The demand is there. The product is here. We've got you know, uh, 500,000 school vehicles running across America. The government, the school districts, actually own 66% of this business. So a $24 billion industry, $18 billion owned and run by the government. You know, this is a way where private enterprise actually goes in, invests in schools. So it's our capital. We're raising them. So we're, you know, we go to the market. We raise money as part of our public right. company. Cost per mile driven. Gas natural gas well we've got literally a situation where 365 a gallon for diesel a dollar twenty a dollar forty for a gallon of propane equivalent uh, that's huge savings for our schools all right I and will, our taxpayers. I will find the subsidy somewhere, believe me, because I know it's there. I've been digging and I can't find it. But That's right, you can't find it because what it is, it's an investment in us oh, into yeah. our community. Democrats so, never spend money, they oh, always well, invest you know, it. Exactly, and that's why we think that schools shouldn't <laughs> be operating their own fleets. This is it's something where we can come in and provide that capital, that low-cost capital. We just did an operation in Texas where we literally put in these new vehicles, 1.9% financing for 10 years with them they're gonna it's it's less pollution and less dilution for our shareholders okay, okay. You know? uh, Dennis Gallagher CEO of student transportation <laughs> not bad <laughs> come back when we've got more time I'll find that subsidy <laughs> Dennis thank you very much indeed sir You're Appreciate welcome. it. after the break an example of how government regulation could be a good thing what that's next <laughs>